Cabernet Sauvignon has long been considered one of the world's greatest grapes. Uh, one of the reasons for that is that in its home of Bordeaux, it uh, has, has often made one of the most profound wines in the world. Cabernet Sauvignon is something that you see quite a bit of with us here at Cooper's Hawk. We have many different expressions of the grape and what we like to do is showcase Cabernet all by itself and then also show it as, as it blends with different varieties that we have. So Cabernet on its own is it's very structured. It's a very dark fruit. Um, has lots of like blackberry, black currant, black cherry, and it also typically gives you some notes uh, that are slightly herbal. Sometimes like a green bell pepper if it's not so ripe, or if it is very ripe, then it'll be really juicy and jammy. So this is our just our straight Cabernet Sauvignon. It really shows exactly what this varietal is all about. And in our Cabernet Sauvignon. Like I said, lots of black fruit, black currant and black cherry, blackberry, and, and then you get this really wonderful note of a little bit of coffee and mocha that come through as well. Oak aging adds a really lovely note of, of baking spice, black pepper as well. You know, when it comes to oak, the level of oak treatment that you do on a wine will really change the, the ultimate flavor of the wine. So in a wine like our, our Lux Cabernet, in this case, there's two different things going on with this wine. One of them is, is that we're using much higher quality fruit. Uh, we use grapefruit for everything, but in this case, we're using vineyards that have the optimum exposure to the sun, uh, incredible ripeness, real lusciousness to the fruit fruit, which is important because when you're starting to use newer oak barrels, that's going to mean that you're going to have a lot more flavor that's going to have to match with that ripe fruit. So in our Lux wine series, we're using brand new oak barrels, American oak, which gives you wonderful sweet vanilla and spice flavors, which is really quite good when matched against that really ripe fruit. So here we have our Cooper's Hawk Lux Cabernet. Mm, right up front, I get all that baking spice, lots of cinnamon, nutmeg, and clove. But like I said, this is beautiful fruit, so there's a real luscious dark fruit flavor that comes through. On the palate, really delicious. Really similar in flavor to this in terms of having all the black fruit flavor, but much more rich, much more powerful. You get that really profound, dense fruit flavor. In the Bordeaux region of France, it's pretty classic to blend your Cabernet Sauvignon with other grape varietals. In Bordeaux, though, you'll find things like Merlot or Cabernet Franc, um, Malbec. Those are some grapes that are classic in the Bordeaux region. Doesn't mean that you have to blend it with those grapes. Cabernet always provides in a blend a lot of structure, a lot of power, a lot of density and weight, whereas uh, other varietals might bring in fruitiness. In the case of our Cabernet Zinfandel, we're completely breaking the rules. Uh, Zinfandel is not a grape from the Bordeaux region. Actually, Zinfandel traditionally comes from southern Italy uh, and Croatia that part of the world. But what we love about Zinfandel is that it's incredibly luscious and fruity. It has a wonderful jamminess to it. And so with Cabernet, it's really a nice contrast. I like to say that uh, Cabernet Sauvignon is giving this wine all of its shoulders and structure, while Zinfandel is what's kind of giving it its flair and its lusciousness. Yeah, okay, so Zinfandel, lots of really baked fruit flavors as well. So there's a real jamminess to it. You get this really sweet kind of brambly, like raspberry jam. And then there's that Cabernet coming in. Lots of structure, the power and weight, kind of balancing out the sweetness of that Zinfandel. For me, this is a total go-to pizza wine. It's got lots of lusciousness to it, really friendly. Um, it also has some really nice bread acidity, which means it'll go really well with foods. So that's a really fun wine and totally different from our wine of the month, which is our Cabernets. And in the case of this wine, we're blending in Cabernet Franc with the Cabernet Sauvignon. These are, are grapes that are related to one another. In fact, Cabernet Franc is the parent grape to Cabernet Sauvignon. And uh, Cabernet Franc is different from Cabernet Sauvignon in that it gives you much more green flavors. And what I mean by green flavors is you get a little bit of this green bell pepper and really wonderful savory green herbs. So in Cabernet Franc, the herb flavors that I get are more along the line of bay leaf or tarragon or sage. So imagine that when matched with, with food. When you have a nice big steak and you get these savory herbal flavors, it's really a beautiful combination. Then blended with Cabernet Sauvignon, again, you get all that black fruit and that power and intensity. 38% of the blend is Cabernet Franc. So Cabernet Sauvignon is still 
the sort of the biggest voice in the blend. Mmm. Tell you a little secret. Cabernet Franc is actually one of my favorite grapes. What I love about it is this texture. Cabernet Franc has really fine knit tannins and, and they become really silky and soft in a wine and, and you really get that texture in this uh, as well as, like I said, all those really wonderful herbal flavors matched with the power and the denseness of Cabernet Sauvignon. Really a fantastic wine and this is a wine that is really delicious right now with all that exuberant fruit but over time as that fruit softens it'll be a lot of complexity that comes through with this wine it's a this is one I, I look forward to visiting in a couple of years as well so cheers enjoy some Cabernet with us this month